हेलो फ्रेंड्स पी ए एस स्टेन और पराइडिक एसिड से रिएक्शन और स्टेन डोंट कॉल इज एज ए फास्ट स्टेन ऑलवेज कॉल एज ए पी ए एस स्टेन मेन पर्पज ऑफ पी ए स्टेन इज टू डेमोस्ट्रेट और और रिकोगनाइज द फॉलोइंग्स फर्स्ट इज पॉलीसेकेराइड इन द पॉलीसेकेराइड मेनली ग्लाइकोजन विच यू नो फ्रॉम द लास्ट वीडियो इट मेनली गेट स्टोर इन लिवर एंड स्टेट मसल्स second is to find the neutral muco substance third is basement membrane fourth is mucin in stomach sulfamucin and sialomucin penis cell granules colored material of the thyroid and fungal wall principle is very important you have to understand it carefully pas reaction is based on oxidation of the certain tissue element to the aldehyde by the per iodic acid Here the aldehyde group get exposed. So after that, Sips reagent is prepared by treating basic fusion with the sulfurous acid. Following the Sips reaction, washing in running water causes the loss of bound sulfurous acid groups attached to the central carbon atom, and there is a restoration of the cuneoid structure in the dye which bounded by the aldehyde. And there is visualization of the typical Sips color or bright rose color. or magenta color then there is the third point is metabisulfite this metabisulfite are used to remove excessive reagent from the tissues so in the principle you have to understand that these three points first is paraidic acid which do the oxidation of the desired substance and which expose the aldehydes group and these aldehyde group get bounded with the sips reagent and give the color of sip color or magenta or bright rose color and third point is metabisulfite metabisulfite are used to remove the excess sip reagent from the tissues in fixative 10% neutral buffer formalin is required in technique there is 4 to 5 micrometer thickness of paraffin section is needed and these are the equipment which is needed for the normal staining of pa stain whenever we are going for the pa stain we need the quality control and for the quality control we we need one section either from the kidney or liver or the cervix liver section is required if we are going to do any staining for the demonstration of the glycogen in reagent preparation first we need 0.5% solution of per iodic acid how to prepare it we have to take 2.5 g of the per iodic acid and 500 ml of distilled water then second we need iron hydrochloric acid in that concentrated hydrochloric acid of 83.5 ml is needed and we have to uh, dissolve it in 916.5 ml of distilled water third we have to prepare 0.55% of potassium metabisulfite how to make it we have to take 2.75 g of the potassium metabisulfite and 500 ml of distilled water mix it and we will prepare it and another reagent we need is the sips reagent how to prepare the sips reagent we will use the distilled water of 800 ml basic fusion 4 g sodium metabisulfite 4 g and iron hydrochloric acid which we have prepared we need the 80 ml from that procedure for preparing sif reagent is we have to heat the water till the boiling point then we have to remove it from the hot plate or from the frame where we are using it then we have to add the 4 g of the basic fusion after that we have to again heat the solution till the boiling point and we have to cool it to the 50 degrees celsius and fil- filter it and after that 80 ml of the iron hydrochloric acid will be added on that and we will wait till the till it will get completely cool and after that we will add 4 g of sodium metabisulfite then we will leave all the solution for overnight its color should get turn into the light amber color and on the next day we have to wait 2 g of the activity charcoal and shake for the 1 minute after that we have to filter the solution and store it into the refrigerator this solution is stable for 2 to 4 months but we have to check is that sif reagent is working properly or not for this how we can check it out we have to take 10 ml of 40% of formaldehyde in any beaker or flask then we add the few drop of the sif reagent which we have prepared if the solution rapidly turn reddish purple color that means we have prepared the good sif reagent if it's not coming or it's getting the delayed that means the solution is not prepared well now all the reagents are ready for the ph10 
now the procedure for PAS stain is we have to take one section and first we have to deparaffinize the section and hydrate the slide to the distilled water. After that we have to place the section in 0.5% per iodic acid solution for the 5 minutes. In this what will happen according to the principle all the aldehyde group get exposed to the all the aldehyde group get exposed. Then we will wash the slide in 3 changes of the distilled water. And after that, we put the SIPS reagent for 15 minutes. Why put the SIPS reagent? According to the principle, the exposed aldehyde will get bound to the SIPS reagent and give the color. And after that, we have to put the slide, wash the slide one minute in each of two jars of 0.5% of potassium metabisulfite. Why use the potassium metabisulfite? To remove the excess SIPS reagent. And after that, we have to wash the slide for at least 10 minutes to develop the color. And next point, we have to do the counter stain for half minute in the Harris hematoxylin with the acid. Why we use the Harris hematoxylin to stain the nuclei? And then we have to wash it well to get the color for the hematoxylin for the nuclei. And last stage is we have to dehydrate with the 95% and then absolute alcohol and clear with the xylene and mount the slide with the DPX or other synthetic resin. And our PAS stain slide is ready to observe. In the results, we can see in the first slide, the slide from the lung section and here we can see the fungal infection. And second slide is from the kidney, which is showing the tubules and there is a cell membrane is clearly visible with the PAS stain. In this other section, we can see the section from the thyroid gland and we can see or demonstrate or observe the colloid within the tissue, within the thyroid gland. Again, in the next slide, we can clearly observe the basement membrane or cell membrane. So, PAS stain is very good for demonstration of glycogen or cell membrane or colloid. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, then please subscribe the channel, like this video, do the comment and share it who need it more.